Well, let me tell you something. Pierce Morgan Uncensored. This is the truth, the gospel truth, nothing but the truth. I'm done. You know, every good dog has its day. And like the great Roman leader said, there'll always be somebody else to fight. When is enough enough? I'm happy, I'm healthy, I've still got my brains, I can still talk, I've got a beautiful wife, I've got six kids, I've got obtained belts, I've got plenty of money, success, fame, glory. What, what more am I doing it for? You know, boxing's a very dangerous sport. You can be taken out with one punch, as we've seen on Saturday night. And, you know, it only takes one unlucky blow, one unlucky blow, and you may not get up off that canvas. I'm quitting while I'm ahead. I'm undefeated, only the second man in history to retire undefeated heavyweight champion. I'm very, very happy. I'm very contented in the heart with what I've done, what I've achieved. It's not about money for me, Pierce. You know, a lot of people in this world, everything's about money and more money and more money. I've got enough money. I've got enough of everything I need. I'm a very simple man. I drive an 07 VW Passat. I'm a very normal person. I don't need tons of money to, to impress everybody. Do you know what I think about you, Tyson? Like me, I actually then, think not, I, I, you, you think you're a simple, normal person. I actually think you're one of the most fascinating people, honestly, that I've ever interviewed. I think the way your mind works, I think you're quite a complex thinker, you're a deep thinker, you're highly intelligent, uh, and yet you do this, you know, incredibly violent sport. But I, I, that's why, in a way, I do believe you, because I do think you've probably calculated. You look at the greats, Muhammad Ali, who go on too long, who do one big fight too many who get battered and then never recover. I can understand it. Yeah. I can understand why you may have, yeah. with your smart mind, calculated sure. it's just not worth it. It's, it's not worth it. You know, I've got family to raise. I've got kids to... I've got four young kids to raise and two bit older ones. Um, I've been away for the last 10 years on the road, all over the world, travelling for boxing. You know, when do I get time to be a father, a husband, a brother, a son? I need this personal time. You know, the fans will always want more. They're always paying for more blood. But at the end of the day, I don't have anything more to give. I've given everything I've got. I've been a professional 14 years and I've been boxing over 20 years. I'm all out. Every good dog has its day in the sun and my time is to go out on a high. And I always said that I wanted to walk away on top of the sport and do it on my terms. And I didn't want to be the person who said, well, I should have maybe retired two years ago or whatever. I just wanted to walk out on top, go out with a bang, nearly 100,000 at Wembley with a knockout performance. They will not forget the Gypsy King in a hurry. And for sure, and no amount of, of material assets or money will make me come back out of retirement because I'm very happy. I completely, you know what, Tyson? I, um, compl I completely respect you and I get your argument for it. I wanted to ask you a question. Uh, when I did Celebrity Apprentice with Donald Trump, and I might ask you a question about Donald Trump in a moment, because I know you know him. Uh, but when I did it uh, with Donald Trump, Lennox Lewis was in there with me. And Lennox told me when he was the world heavyweight champion, everywhere he used to go, in America in particular, he'd go to a bar or a club, and the biggest guy in the bar or in the club would want to come and take him on to prove their point. Do you get that? And he said he used to take them on very quickly. And I said, what happened to them? He went, I was the heavyweight champion of the world. What do you think happened to them? Do you get that when you go into pubs and things? Do people <laughs> say, oh, come on then, Tyson, me and you? You know what, Pierce? Never. I've not got that persona or aura about me where I don't think I'm a tough guy. I don't walk around like the big man. Um, I don't think I've ever been approached in a bar or a pub, coming from a former alcoholic, don't forget, mm. who used to go to a lot of bars and pubs and restaurants. Um, I've never been in a fight outside the ring in my whole life. I've not got that um, persona of like, oh, come and take me on. What's good, family? Shout out to the boss man, Pedro, for sending in a much needed coin. Yeah, all the bills are going up right now, 100%, no doubt about it. So we just heard dear from your man's Tyson oh, Fury on a very on a very this for me is I don't want to hear this right now. I feel emotionally vulnerable right now, 100%. Yeah. My life for the most part is based around talking about this game. Yeah. And I don't want to talk about this game without Tyson Fury involved. It's as simple as that. Not now anyway. I'm not ready for it. I'm not, I'm not emotionally primed for it. Because look, there's a bunch of bums, ten year there's a bunch of bums. And I ain't gonna lie to you. I've put my hands in the air before and admitted in the past. I've been wrong. In the past I was wrong. Whatever, whatever. But listen. 
That's what apologies are for. You know what I mean? You move on. And I'm ready to move on, but it's too... It can't be the end, is the point. Now, to be fair to us, this isn't the first time he's said he's going to retire, which is obviously a good thing for us. Based on, statistically speaking, we've got a pretty good chance he's coming back. I think it's easy for him to say now he's going to retire. Why? Well, Usyk and AJ, which are the only realistic fights he's going to take going forward, they're not even... They haven't even got a date booked. So I can see from his point of view how he's thinking, I'm going to retire, there's nothing else else out there for me. Because it's true, that it, at this particular point in time, there literally isn't anything else out there for him. Even if he wanted to fight Joe Joyce, which he, I don't, I just don't see the point in that fight. It's not like it's going to be a super competitive fight, and also, it doesn't have a big name. But even that fight, Joe Joyce and Joseph Parker are fighting, for example. So that at this particular point in time, there's genuinely no fights I'd want to see. Oh, tell I. I wouldn't mind watching the Nganu fight versus Fury in UFC gloves. That that genuinely is interesting for me. Now, obviously, I back Fury to win it, but still, there is some intrigue there for me in that in that fight. But that's not really to do with boxing strictly. But either way, listen. Hearing Tyson Fury talk now, what what worries me is is the fact that he's sounding very sincere, as in. I don't know, I haven't analysed all of his previous retirements, but this time, really, it's the first time I've heard him, I've heard him say things like, oh, I've got kids to look after and whatnot. I'm not sure, he might have done in the past, Hope I'm hoping, for our sake, he has said things like this in the past, because then it kind of devalues what he's saying, but if this is, if this is the first time he's mentioned retiring for his children's sake and whatnot, that gives it more weight. Now words are cheap. People, things can change. Um, all I can say is, listen, you're at the top of your game, and I understand this. There's a lot of cliches in boxing. People always talk about, oh, you don't want to go on too long. And yeah, there is some people do go on too long, but it's not one or the other. Retiring too early isn't the same as not retiring too late. There's a middle ground, and at the moment, Fury would be retiring way too early. Way too early. You're 33 year old. To retire now is just a waste, I feel. And I think that you regret it looking back. Yes, you've got all the money, but it's not about the money. It's about... I'm not sure what it's about, but I'm going to say what it's about for me. For me, it's about wiping all the bums out there. Yeah? When I believe when you've been given a gift, why not exploit it to the highest degree? At least until you feel you're slipping. Do you understand? I get not wanting to carry on when you're on the slip. Now, is Tyson Fury conceding that? Well, after the fight he said, I'm getting better and better. And I think that's clear to see. No one can sit there and watch that and tell us that he's getting worse. We've never, we've never, even when Dillian White was in there with AJ, we've never seen Dillian White look so bad, ever. Dillian White was, mo a lot of people were calling Dillian White number three. I think even at times I've said that. We've never seen Dillian White look like a fish out of water. He looked silly in there. Proper silly. So, and it's not like there's a whole bunch, I said it last time in my last video. It's not like there's a bunch of killers who are really dangerous. Most of these cats are psychologically weak. We know all you have to do is pop AJ in the mouth and he don't want to play no more. Yeah, he take, he taking his ball home. He don't want to know. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? <laughs> he you, and then who else you got? Usyk, the middleweight. Come on, it's too easy. There will never be an easier opportunity to become undisputed, never. Well, going forward, I think based on where society is going, it, I mean, 20 years from now, the heavyweight champion will be most likely a woman, to be honest with you. That's just what I think. I think where the world's going at the moment, 20 years from now, the world heavyweight champion will be a woman. Yeah, that's where I think it's heading. But in the meantime, at least... You can't throw away these kind of opportunities. And I don't think Fury to be... Out of all the boxers, yeah, Fury is a historian. I can't believe, given the trajectory is on, 
Yeah, he's not on a downslope. If he was on a downslope, I'd be saying, listen. For example, yeah, a few years ago, Fury was with Ben Davidson. He was having wars with complete bums like Otto Wallin, like... I think, did Tom Schwartz cut him? I'm not sure, but either way, he was having wars with complete bums. Yeah? If that Tyson Fury had... You know what I mean? If he was still battling like that, going life and death with bums, then of course, I get it. And I think even at that time, I think even John Fury said that his son should retire or something like that back then, because he was nervous about him carrying on in that state. Now obviously we know the move to Sugar Hill made a massive, an exponential difference. But you ain't on that path no more. Instead, you've gone from not being a massive power puncher to now icing dudes in one shot. Even AJ, who Eddie Hearn loves to suck off for being some massive power puncher, it took, it took AJ seven rounds of a 50-50 proper war to finally break down Dillian. Tyson Fury didn't do nothing for seven rounds and then popped him. Yeah, that is the definition of one punch power. I know there's fans out there who are mad and don't want to hear it. That's what it is. He got one punch power. That's what that showed. Simple as that. Whatever way you want to cook it. Right on the end, end of his beak and that was all she wrote. And you're still relatively young for a heavyweight. Lennox Lewis didn't finish till 38. Now, I'm not saying. Do I think Tyson Fury should carry on to 38? No, but that's the thing. What pisses me off about this is the fact that we're not talking about another five years. At the most, it'd be two years. At the absolute most. Because Fury and Usyk fight in June. Ideally, for boxing fans' sake, AJ will win that fight. Will he? I don't know. I'm 50-50 on that. And only the reason I'm 50-50 is because I just don't rate Usyk. But <laughs> if Usyk was any better than, you know, if Usyk was a proper heavyweight, AJ would have no chance. AJ's got, only still got a chance because he's got all the attributes still. But anyway, the point is, AJ and Usyk fight in June. Or July, sorry. They fight in July. Well, that means six months from then, December, or before, that's the undisputed fight. Well, either way, to be honest, whether it's Usyk or AJ, December is the undisputed fight. That's what? Eight months away. So you can have the next four months with your kids and wife. And I'm, that's what I'm hoping. I'm hoping Fury's going to get bored. And yeah, it's sacrifice, but... Like I said, when you've been given gifts, yeah, you're only 33. What you don't want to do is go away now and then get the twitch at 40. It's too late then. Get it in, get it in now, get all of it out of the way now, get all the, le there's no, there's no reason not to, I don't see, and a lot of these interviewers, like Piers, love to harp on these cliches, oh yeah, yeah, it's a great idea to retire because, you know what, Ali, listen, this ain't no, this is, stop, stop, stop taking these cliches in the sport and applying it to everyone, Ali was Ali in his own right, Tyson Fury is not in Ali's situation, he's not getting clobbered, fight in, fight out, He's not starting to slur his words. Do you understand the difference here? This isn't an Ali. So stop saying, oh yeah, it's good to retire now because you don't want to be Ali. It's not about being Ali or not. It's not, there's, it took Ali years of abuse to get to that position. He didn't just, he wasn't, Ali wasn't super fresh and then fell apart with Alzheimer's the next day. No, it, Ali, came, Ali went away. He came back. He kept getting battered. He wasn't moving his feet. Kept taking his... Ali's defence was to stand there and get pummeled. Fury don't do that. Fury didn't get hit once all night to the head. Genuinely. He literally didn't get hit once all night to the head. I think maybe a few jabs might have grazed him. But genuinely, Fury took more damage in sparring. So yeah, going forward, what would my advice be to Fury? If you're worried about damage, do less do less sparring in, in the gym. Or do much... Do lighter sparring in the gym. Say so as you get older, you don't you don't need as much sparring because you know, you know what I'm saying. Or you certainly don't need sparring wars. Save yourself for the actual fight night. Work on on other things than just raw. You don't need to prove anything. When you're young, growing up, you need to prove that you can get stuck in in training. 
which is something Anthony Johnson clearly never did, because AJ only AJ is what you call an on top fighter. Yeah, he looks great when he's on top. You pop him in the mouth, and he looks shocked. Like what? That wasn't supposed to happen. Where where was that in the where was that in the rules? <laughs> you know what I'm saying? But Fury's been through all that now. He don't need to be taking damage in training. And he ain't the thing is, like I said, he ain't taking no damage in the fight either. So the sport need this now. The sport ain't in a position where it can afford to lose Fury at this particular point in time. Now part of me thinks that he like he like like he likes to feel wanted, as it, most people do. So I think it, it probably is a bit of that. It probably is a bit of all of it, to be honest with you. He pop, Obviously, he does miss his kids. So, But the point is, four months from now, I'm hoping he gets the Twitch. Because he needs to get the Twitch. And most likely, after AJ versus Yusik happens, we'll soon know. Well, I guess we're going to... Listen, time goes on either way. So we'll know either way. But I'm just saying, it really will be a travesty. It will be a massive, yeah, it will be, yeah, it will be one of the biggest, no, yeah, it, it just can't happen. And if I was, people around Tyson Fury, I get it, uh, this whole narrative around, oh, well, if he doesn't want to do it anymore, listen, you got to want to do it some more. <laughs> yeah, John Fury and Paris need to sit him down and say, listen, you have the opportunity here to do something. And yeah, you've done things that are great already, but to, to go beyond that, why not? It's on a plate. It's not like there's a whole bunch of, oh, well, you know, I've got to have five more 50-50 fights. <gasps> there's no one out there, I think, going to give Fury any problems. <gasps> I just don't see it myself. Yeah? AJ going life and death with middleweight. Who ain't got no power. So, if you go in life and death with middleweight with no power. And nearly got knocked out in the end. And you end up with your eye all bashed up. Do you know what I mean? It's too, it's too easy. It's too easy. Go and knock AJ out in front of ninety, uh, in front of a hundred thousand. Lay him out cold, same as Dillian, yeah, and then call it a day. And it's only eight months away. Or well, probably it'll be a rematch as well. So it's only really a year away. Think about it. Let's say AJ versus, well, Fury versus AJ is in November, the first fight, because, well, certainly December. Six months from then, July or June next year, so pretty much 14 months. 14 months from now, you're all wrapped up. The whole lot's done. Yeah? And then you can have, rather than, think about it, you've only missed another year. You'll be 34 and your kids will still be seven years old instead of six years old. And you can do all the being dad you want to do. But it really will be, it's not, it won't be a good look, in my opinion. It'll be a massive, there'll be a massive... Yeah, it's just no. It's a no for me. A big no. You can't go now. Yeah, simple as that.